We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Are we? Are we, go, are we going? Come closer, Alec. Get ah. warm. What's up, everyone? It is frigid. You know it gets cold up here, and we are cold right now. There's snow out on the ground, but we're going to troop it out for y'all. You had these waiting for me when I came up? Because I know that you're the ultimate trivia master. That's oh. What, that's what everyone says about you. Yeah. I mean, do you want to play, like, legit, or we just do some back-and-forth questions with the Lord of the Rings edition of Trivial You'll kill me, but I'll try it. It's movie version. Oh, so, okay. It's movie version. All right. Which so actually true. occasionally throws... Yeah, you off because you got the books in your head. Yeah, but I've, yeah, but I've watched the movie a few dozen times, too. So, okay. so that's, yeah. Because, I mean, Trivial Pursuit is pretty great. Were your parents nuts about the Baby Boomer yes. edition? Yes. Because mine were crazy. Yeah, that, I remember that was a big deal when it came out. <laughs> Can we just do one quick question to yeah. see what's in the Baby Boomer yeah, edition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll even take my gloves off. Oh. Ooh. Okay. What mm. half hour sitcom topped the Nielsen ratings the year Richard Nixon resigned? I'm going to say Happy Days. You would be wrong. All in the Family. Ah, damn it. That was my number two answer. That really was my number two answer, too. Can you name the racing thoroughbred that died on November 1st, 1947? 1947? Yeah. Foxtrot. Hotel. Yankee. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who is it? Man o' War. Oh, no. I know the name, but I, that's not what I was going to. I'm going to guess that these don't get used very often 1947? Anymore. Who was even alive in 1947? It doesn't even make any sense. I would just I would just get rid of these. That's, that's another millennium. You know that? <laughs> it is. <laughs> what is this? Nazgul. Nazgul. Oh, I can win one of eight prizes. Authentic props from the film. Do you think this is the sweepstakes is still good? Prizes will be awarded December 22nd, 2003. You still have a chance. What? You probably have some of the props in, fact, in this attic, actually. The right first now. one listed I do have. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can see it. The Sword here. of Aragorn Strider Sword. Wait, hold, <laughs> hold on a second. Oh, Eric's going on a voyage. The in the weeds thing. <laughs> oh, 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 God. He's bound. This is a guy. The blade that cut the ring. The shards of Narsil. It's been reforged. That's right, so it's no longer the Narsil. Enderil. Flame of the West! <laughs> you know eventually someone's going to get stabbed by that up here. Well, let's see what the board looks like. I haven't, again, I haven't played this in years. That's pretty cool. The Ring of Power. Ashna <laughs> Yeah, let's, oh yeah, I guess we should see what the categories are. I don't think these categories are supposed to have names, they're just symbols. Oh, here we go. Okay, the categories are color-coded. Green leaf is good characters. The blue <laughs> thing is evil characters. The orange tree is things. The red ring is places and history. The yellow sword is warfare. And the brown cross thingy is making movies. You want to just go back and forth with sure. some questions? Here, I'll give you some cards and I'll take some cards. Okay, so, uh, all right, you can start. Okay. We used to just read all the questions on a card, and someone would see how many they could get off the card. All right, you ready? Okay. Easter egg. Okay. What's the oldest living thing that still walks beneath the sun upon Middle Earth? Treebeard, aka Fangorn. In the movies. Number two. Are you ready? I am ready. What creature does Gandalf the Grey kill in his final sword fight? In his final sword fight? His final sword fight. I'm going to read this again to you. Yeah, I... I, I what I, creature does Gandalf the Grey... Oh, the Balrog. Okay. The ba yeah, very, yeah, very very good. That's... Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I was like, oh, it was the Battle of the Black Gates. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was the Balrog. What color hood is placed over Gollum's head at the Forbidden Pool for by Faramir's Rangers? It's like a, a grayish-green hood. Is that the final answer? Yes, it's the final answer. Black. <laughs> well, if you mix gray and green, you get sort of a... Is that like a muddy, muddy dark color? What word does Gimli use to describe the air in Fanghorn Forest? This is, this is, a, this is very vague. If you oh, nail no, I this... Should, I should not. It's, it's not, it's not dank, it's not heavy. Or is it heavy? No, it's not heavy. I'm trying to conjure up the line. The, it's not foul... Oh, uh, the, um, uh, watchful. Close. Ah, yes, that's, yeah, that's right, that's right. Because he's like, yeah, it's close. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Number five. Number five. Who 
has men in the ranks of their armies Aragorn, Saruman, or Sauron? Technically, uh, both Sauron and Aragorn. Has men in the ranks of his armies? Actually, technically, all three of them do. And that's accurate. And I'll stop you there. Okay. Because you're right. Okay. It's a kind of a trick question, I suppose. Because it says all of them. Yeah. Which is kind of screwed up because yeah. they well, make it seem as if. However, that's 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 also, even for a movie edition, that's kind of a tricky question to put in because the men in Saruman's army only appear in the extended edition. You, you remember the scene in The Two Towers where he's got a bunch of hairy dudes gathered around him? He's like, they they, they took your villages! Oh, yeah, oh. And, they like, yeah and, he, and they're getting all riled up and that's when they, the they one, follow the yeah, people of Rohan. The one guy cuts the, his hand open, which yeah, is always yeah. such a stupid movie thing. Why did they, I never understand that. Like, when you're going to make... a blood oath! You're going to make a blood oath, but why cut your hand? That's the worst place. Like, if you, can't you just, like, make a no. blood oath there? It's more powerful. Stupid. One of the, I, I hate that. So I'm, I'm so far. I'm four to five. Yeah, I'm counting the color. <laughs> oh, the color one, black. Oh, you know. What character does John Rhys Davies say is? That's how you say his last name, right? Reese, I think. Reese Davies. Like, uh, John Reese Davies. Say is quote suspicious, paranoid, quick to quarrel, yet endearing. What? Huh. Read the question again, because it does it say his character or it says what character does John Reese Davies say is so okay so, now? So this is John Reese Davies saying it, not Gimli saying it. And what's the description again? Suspicious, paranoid, quick to quarrel. Gimli, it's yeah, his own character. Right. Yeah. No, it just threw me because initially yeah. I'm thinking Gimli never said that about anybody. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? What alias does Frodo use while traveling to Bree? Oh, uh, God. I know this. Da, 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 because Gandalf da, 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 tells him to... Da, 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 Hold on, let me get a beer. Uh, Underhill. Mr. Underhill. Underhill. That's you and got then it. The, the barkeep is like, Underhill. What's the barkeep's name? <sighs> That's my own question. That's not Yeah, because he's in the... He's like a little bit... He's more in the book. He's a very... Yeah, remember. he's, a, he's yeah. a pronounced character in the book, yes. Like, he knows Gandalf, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a much more pronounced character in the book and much more interesting character in the book. He's actually super endearing in, in, in the book. My, my, I love the Fellowship of the Ring movie. I think it's it's terrific. I, yeah, I don't feel like they did the Brie scene justice because Barlaman Butterbur is not oh, as well-treated and uh, the way they introduce Aragorn is a little... I'm not as much of a fan. I actually think the Ralph Bakshi animated movie does a better job with the Brie scene in particular than Peter Jackson's otherwise fantastic film. So yeah, Barlaman. Barlaman is his name. What is the it Frodo is talking about when he says, if I put it on, he'll see me? His shoes. Exactly, his, his shoes. His left shoe in particular. I how do they even <laughs> include that? <laughs> well, they got to put, you know, every once in a while. That is like... That's, that's, for, that's for people who have never really seen the movie and they're kind of hoping. But that question is like, what color shirt are you wearing? <laughs> or what has it got in its pockets? <laughs> Starbuck um, front Not bad. <laughs> Uh, what direction are Aramur's men riding in when they when they meet part of the fellowship in Rohan? Oh, they have to be riding east. Why? They're not going to be going west. What direction are Aramur's men riding in when they meet part of the fellowship in Rohan? I'm going to go east. I'm going to say they're heading east. They are riding north. North. God. They're riding north. And that's specified in some dialogue. Uh, yeah, when they first see them and they come and they circle around. And they, right, but that, I think it was it's it's a little earlier. Right there, they they mentioned like, yeah, Amber's men have been spotted going north, riding north out of here. Blah blah blah. I should have known that. I've only seen the movie thirty, forty times. He should have known that. <laughs> uh, what legendary king said acquiring the One Ring had caused him great pain? Acquiring the ring. What legendary king said acquiring the One Ring had oh, caused him great pain? Oh, the, the... Okay, first. Wait, no, wait. Let me think, because I okay. I can hear Elrond saying "Custard into the fire," like his and his name, but I can't. I, uh, Mister Anderson. Yeah. Isildur, cast it into the fire. Say it again. Isildur. Isildur, excellent. Now, what's Aragorn's father's name? As your bonus question. <sighs> now that I'm, I'm not gonna. Now, now Tolkien often, not always, but very often, like the names of yeah, people Captain... follows sort of one another. It's Aragorn, son of Arathorn. 
Oh, that's so what it's it Arathorn, is. Yeah. Right, right. How many times does that get said throughout the movie? Quite a few times. Especially whenever they run into the elves. Um, what kind of weapon is held to Sam's throat when he's captured by Faramir's rangers? What kind of weapon is held to f- whose throat? Sam's throat when he's captured by um, by Faramir's what rangers. What kind of weapon? What kind of weapon? Now think hard on this. Think long and hard. Well, I mean, you. I would just want to say his sword. It is a sword. It seemed too obvious, though. It is a sword. Which role... Do, well, I guess this one's a decent one, because not everyone knows the actor names. Uh, which role does actor John Noble play in Return of the King? Oh, Noble. Is that a uh, Wormtongue? Who's Noble? It's not. Wormtongue is uh, Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif. Also in Deadwood, one of my favorite shows of all time. Is it Theoden? It. it is not Theoden. I don't know who it is. Denethor. Oh. All right, so... Would I get three out of six? No, I think you did. What would you do? You got uh, one, two, three, four. You got four out of six. That's respectable for a cold brain. Absolutely. (laughs) It's a good hat, by the way. Thank you. It's my kid. This was mine when I was five. Really? It's just missing the pom-pom. Seriously? That's vintage? Cool. Put it on eBay. No, I'm selling it. Let's do a giveaway right now. No! Let's do a giveaway. (laughs) Giveaway. This is my legit hat. With two too legit to quit. Too legit. You did the hand thing too and everything. That's yeah. That's <laughs> too legit. Too legit. And then there's also wait. Do you know what this is from? Cut, Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we just went on that segue. <laughs> <laughs> Who became king of Rohan after the War of the Ring? Aemir. Which, ding, ding. not from the movie. Again, that's not shown in the movie. I mean, I guess they don't show it, but you know. Because mm-hmm. Theoden's dead. Aemir's the next in line, so. Because his son, Theodred, was, was killed. killed. yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Sorry. Who tells Saruman the mountain path to Helm's Deep will be a danger to Rohan's people? Wormtongue. Grima, Wormtongue. It actually says Grima. It doesn't even say Wormtongue on this. Yeah, well, good enough. Inside, <laughs> inside what object at Bag End does the does Frodo hide the envelope containing the One Ring? Oh, that's a that's a that's a that's a pretty good one. It's it's on the well. It, this is the movie version. I know, and it's and um and it, it's it's where he hides the envelope. It's on the mantle, but I don't know what he puts it in on the mantle. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. He hides it in. It's on the mantle, but is it in something on the mantle place? Um, picture frame. In a trunk. Oh, okay. Remember, it's like buried oh, that's at the right. After of that's right. Trunk. That's right. After after Gandalf comes back, yeah. He uh, yeah he fishes it out of there. Okay. Which, yeah. if you don't read the book and you just watch the movie, you think Gandalf's only gone for like a couple days, but in the book it's like years, right? Seventeen. Seventeen, 17 years? years. But in the movie, it, it's not. And and so th- you get the impression in the movie it's a short period of time because in fact it is in the movie a short period of time. But in the book, yeah, Gandalf leaves for like seventeen years. He's almost forgotten. Not forgotten, but it is. The ring is almost forgotten. Well, about. well it's because in the book Gandalf doesn't know, and it right. takes him that long to do the research and to find out. Which seems silly. Oh yeah, it won the movie. Yeah, and the Hobbit G- Gandalf's like. I know that you got this ring. Right, and he just he, thinks it's a magic ring. Yeah, well, yeah. But never somehow puts two and two together. Yeah, the Gandalf, the movie Gandalf isn't quite as bright. <laughs> as... It's been 17 years trying to figure it out. 17 years? And he could have just threw it in the fire See, no, immediately in, and in, saw if the lettering came up. In Ralph Bakshi's version of The Lord of the Rings, the animated one, it is 17 years. Okay. And the time actually goes by. You see, like it, the seasons flash by, it's and, like, Gif- and Gandalf winter, mentions summer, fall, winter, spring, summer, fall, like yeah. real quick. Yeah, and, and Frodo says uh, something like, um, um, "Oh, Gandalf, it's been so long." And Gandalf goes, "Seventeen years." Oh, they should have did that in the movie. I, I, people, Why not? Most people don't like it, but I love the Ralph Bakshi version. As a matter of fact, wait a second. Will he do two today? Two in one episode? Wait. His golden voyage. No, I don't. I, I don't have to go. I don't have to go for it. Ah. As a matter, like, you know, I have an unopened VHS. Of course. I, I have other VHS copies in boxes <laughs> back there, but a still shrink wrapped VHS version of it. The art, the Gandalf art on this was always cool. I I I love I love this movie. A lot of people really don't care for it, but I think I've told you before off camera that a lot of the line readings of lines that 
Oh yeah, that they're shared the... between the t- like that both the Jackson version and this version have that are taken from the book. I like the line re- readings better there. Like they stick in my head more yeah. than in some of you know some of the others. Um, but boy, we just went off. Well, not all that far off track. We're doing Lord hey, of the Rings. You want to watch our show? This is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was hardcore. Where does Sam tell Frodo to put on the ring and disappear? You have three options. You have Bree, Osgiliath, or in Faramir's cave. In Faramir's cave. It was not in Osgiliath. What object That's is it. stuck on a spear next to the remains of the Urukai captors on the Ro- on on the Rohan plains? A head. Whose head? Not anybody specific. I believe it's an orc head. Yeah. What character is portrayed by little actress Maisie McLeod Riera? This is this this is like real obscure. Um, that is Pippin's size double. Little Frodo. It's little. Oh, I didn't think that was Little Frodo's. Yeah. Little Frodo's. I didn't think that was Frodo's. Okay. Oh well. Can I have a beer, please? I'll replace it with one of my. It's head. okay. I didn't. It's... Br- Shh. Sound. What's what's the name of Eowyn's brother? Aemir. <laughs> it's like right there in the name. Eowyn, Aemir. Uh, um, what kind of creature will Frodo become if his ringwraith wound draws him into shadow? <sighs> he'll become one of the Nazgul. Uh, you can't uh, accept that answer. Uh, he'll become a... Uh, I don't even have to flip it over to look at it, but I'll, I'll see what they say. Yeah. A ringwraith. You want me to keep going? I'll, I'll, oh, wait, hold on. You're super close. You're stupidly close. <laughs> uh, just a wraith? Just a wraith. Okay. That's just right. Uh, what color stone is on the top of Saruman's staff? Oh, white. Correct. <laughs> How many paths does Gandalf have to choose from when the Fellowship gets lost in Moria? What does he say? That place is not familiar? No, he says... Uh, this place is not familiar to me. Yeah, yeah, so I guess he, he was... When in doubt, follow your nose. Down the middle one, which means there's three. Correct. Three. Good uh, good, good deduction like there. Good deduction, yeah. <laughs> you probably did well on standardized tests when you were, you were probably. a kid, right? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, what creature does Legolas... What creatures does Legolas say are responsible for the carnage inside Moria's West Gate? I'll give you a hint. It's the only time this word is used in the the film trilogy of the Lord of the Rings. Goblins. Correct. Goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, what actress won a Golden Globe for another royal performance in Elizabeth in 1998? Ah, uh, Galadriel. What actress? Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> See, you thought you were gonna get away with that little little sleight of hand there. I can't. Oh, I'll just say the it's character's name. He'll never call uh, me on it. <laughs> um. Uh, why can't I remember her name? I know who, this. This is a. I just want to tell you, it, this is a thing with me. Like I, if when we play games with my friends, <laughs> I can never remember the name or actors, actresses. Like I could tell you who she is and everything she's in. No, I, I, I can't. Knock but it's a weird mental block. I'm, with I'm, me. I'm terrible with this, with this, this, this stuff as well. And then once you say it, I'll be like, exactly. Kate Reardon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I could. You can name all of them, and I'll tell you which one it is. Kate Beckinsale. Nope. Kate Mulgrew. Nope. Kate McKellen. Nope. See, isn't that weird? Like, but I'll tell. When you say it, I'll be like, yeah, it's that one, obviously. Kate and Allie. No, it's not Kate and Allie. <laughs> Kate Trump. No. Timer's ticking. I know. Don't make me smash glasses. Kate Blanchett. Oh, I was just about to yell out for you too. Good job. <laughs> yes, Kate Blanchett, who I am exceptionally fond of. Mm-hmm. I, I love her. Oh, God. See you later. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we're, 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 maybe we're done. We might, for a future video, play a little regular Trivial Pursuit, depending on how this guy's feeling with the cold. Um, so, uh... <laughs> it's really cold. It is cold. Bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, thank you. We'll, we'll save that. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.